Hey everybody, welcome back to Save With Me. Starbucks, you know, cold brew isn't as expensive as a more signature drink, but it can range around 325 depending on the size um, and go up from there. So you can make it at home. Just go to Starbucks and get the coffee that you like. This one is a dark roast and it's called the Komodo Dragon Blend. So find something that you enjoy. Dark roast is better for this, and then you're gonna get it grinded to a French press grind, and they will do that for you, and just bring it home. You will also need a cold brew system. So this is my cold brew system. I will link it below if it's something that interests you. We've been really happy with it. Um, so I'm gonna put all the parts together and show you how to do everything. just a handle for it. You have a filter that can be used over and over again. When you're not using it, you rinse it off and put it back in the freezer so it can stay longer for you. After taking it out of the freezer, you just run it under cold water until it's pliable. And then you're gonna put it at the bottom of this container. And that is the filter. And at the bottom here, it comes with a plug. You just plug this in. So it holds all the coffee in until you're ready for it to drain out. So once you put all the coffee in, this will be sitting on top here. And I'll show you how that, well, there you go. <laughs> it's on top there. And it just sits on top. And then you're gonna just take your coffee. And you're gonna start, you're gonna need nine cups of water. Start with one cup first. And you're gonna pour half of the coffee Beans. You can't see the grind, but maybe as I pour it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, just about half. And then you're going to take four cups of water and you're going to pour it in slowly. You want to make sure that you get all the grind, the coffee grounds wet. And then you're going to pour the other half of the coffee inside. Smells delightful. So this is the coarsest grind that they can do. If you just tell them you're trying to make cold brew and you forget what it's called, they'll do the right grind for you. And then again, I'm just pouring slowly. I want to cover everything. And this should go all the way to the top. It must be nine cups, but if you need a little bit more to get to the top, go ahead and add a little bit more. And I just like to take a spoon and just make sure that they're all wet. last part that comes with it is this. It's just the top to the carafe at the bottom. So once this is all poured out, I'll show you that 
in another day. So this should be in here for like 24 hours. Can be a little bit longer if you want. It does not need to be in the fridge during this process. Um, but once it drains out, you would actually pick this up like this, take the plug out and then let it drain and then just dump the grounds. You won't be using them anymore. So super easy. Doesn't take a lot of time to do this. The longest thing that it takes is just letting it sit for the time that it needs. Again, outside of the fridge, just sitting on your counter. Um, it should not be moved. So if you have little kids around or people who move it a lot, to make sure you put it in a place where nobody will disturb it. It just needs to sit there. And once you pour it out, it doesn't seem like it's a lot. That carafe, it's like this big and you have to dilute it with a lot of water. You can't drink it straight. So I like to put like a third of the cold brew in and then fill the rest up with water. Depending on how strong you like it, you do half and half. You gotta taste it, see what you like. And then add your little bit of cream or whatever you enjoy. If you really like sweet cream, they do sell Starbucks sweet cream in the grocery store, so you can get that. And you're gonna be saving yourself a lot of money. So in perspective, if you were spending 3.25 on each drink, that's about a grande size. Um, four drinks about four to five drinks would already be the cost of these grounds they're around 15 16 dollars depending on the kind you want or where you live uh, but it's pretty inexpensive if you are somebody who likes to frequent starbucks and if you start saving a dollar here and there then you'll be saving a lot in the course of a month or a year um, so you'll really see a difference but my husband and i drink this all week long so for five to six days we get two glasses each day so that's a huge savings for us So this is the completed cold brew. It makes a lot. I believe my husband already had some from this. And just pull off the top. And then pour yourself whatever amount you like. So I'm gonna take my favorite Starbucks cup. But any glass is fine. So there's my cold brew amount and then I do about a third you depending on how much you like you can do half the amount okay so there you go and then and then the last part of this is add in any creamer you like we like oat milk and you're just gonna pour in whatever you want and there's your cold brew for a fraction of the cost And take it and enjoy.